I am Mary Lee Osborne from Babysitter Massacre, and you are watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. Next up, I have another one here from Arrow Video USA. It's directed by Edwin Scott Brown, and that is The Prey, filmed in 1979 to 1980, but it wasn't distributed till 1984. And what this is about, it's about these three couples who are going to go and hike in the woods just for a getaway, uh, you know, a little bit of drinking and having fun and romance, kind of stuff like that. And what they don't realize is out in the woods is this man who was horribly burned as a child and he's been living out in the woods all these years so he's kind of like you know out of his mind and you know I guess feral in a way and he's just you know sees people and sees fires and that and like it's like whenever you see him like seeing looking at them on camera uh, like on the screen it's his heartbeat you hear the heartbeat and it gets quicker and quicker and quicker and he just like has to eradicate whatever is making this basically anybody who's around kind of kills you know whoever's around he just takes out because it's his forest and he doesn't want anybody there because you know well he doesn't say it but basically you could tell he doesn't want another fire to happen he doesn't want to get burnt again this is the limited edition two disc and uh, disc one is the US theatrical and disc two is the international cut I'm gonna be honest I only watched the first disc and uh, so that's what my review is based off of. Um, it's kind of it was kind of hard to want to watch. To I didn't want to watch the second one. Not that the movie was bad. It's just it's kind of a slow burn, and it's it's not that good. Um, but watching the uh, behind the scenes and um, you know stuff like that, thinking about it afterwards, uh, I've seen worse movies, but. And it's a good idea. It sounded good. There was some some kills in it. The, the kills were pretty brutal, so that was pretty cool. But I just uh, the heartbeat I think got on my nerves a little bit because it was like a lot. the uh, The cast of characters were actually very very likable. Uh, I liked pretty much every single one of them. And it's hard to believe that this is like you know 40 years old. It's it's hard to believe anything is that old. Like uh, to me, to the year 2000 wasn't that long ago. So it's like oh the 80s movies weren't where you know. 1980 was 20 years ago, so it's not that it's not that bad. Um, but you know, it's 40 years ago. I'm gonna. I was born in 1980, so on fe next year in February, I'll be 40 years old. This was made in 1979, started in 79. So it's just crazy to think of how long ago this was. But it's still, still very cool practical effects. You know, that I really like that. But like, there was the slow burn. There was a lot of a lot of dialogue that like I don't think you needed. Like them sitting around a campfire. And they just like were talking, but there was like random conversations, and you hear like like oh oh yeah, yeah well they do it, like and then like you'd pan in and hear this other one, but you could still hear the other ones, and it, it just went on for too long, and it was like oh my god what is the point what is the point to this like what is this bringing to the story, uh, but then the whole ending was pretty cool. There's like this cop who's kind of like this he's in a way he's a hippie, um, he is just like oh I don't need the gun uh, you know I don't know I think he'd try to just talk somebody out of uh, shooting him before he would try to shoot anybody but uh, he's hell a hell of a good banjo player but he was kind of a likable guy but I, I don't know the whole time I just thought there was something else up with him uh, there wasn't but like I just I didn't trust him I don't know why I just didn't trust him but uh, he he ended up being likable, but then his his uh, sheriff, the, his boss, I guess, was actually kind of funny at first, too. And I don't think it was supposed to be a funny part of the movie, but it was. Like, him talking to him, and he's, like, eating this sandwich, and he's like, what did you, why don't you try it? And then he, he tries it, and he loves it, and then he's like, are you going to eat that half? And you have to see the part to, to know what I'm talking about, but uh, it was just, like, a very strange part, but it was, like, funny and, and I, I, it made me like the sheriff because at first it was like the phone was ringing and it was ringing and it was ringing and he's like going so slow to it and I'm like answer the fucking phone like it was getting on my nerves but then he ended up with that whole sandwich scene it ended up like making me like him I was like I like the, I like this guy he's you know interesting but um yeah it was it was very 
a very strange kind of movie. Um, cool setting, obviously, in the woods. And there were some kills, like I said, were very brutal. Especially there's this rope one where the person gets, like, caught in it and slammed into the tree. And it made me go, oh, like that. Because it was like, bam, like, they're done. And it was like, holy shit. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it's not that great a movie, but, you know, it's, it's a good cheese, I guess. You know, one of those. I don't know how much I'd watch it again, to be honest. Uh, maybe, I like to say this, if somebody put it on, I would sit and watch it. But I don't feel the urge to, hmm, what should I watch? Oh, The Prey. Probably wouldn't put it on again for a while. But, you know, I'm glad I got to see it. I always wanted to, and, you know, I was excited when I saw it was coming out. I was like, oh, and I didn't know what it was about. I read it, I was like, that sounds cool. Very cool cover art, which I'll show you and everything. And then it's like the cover art is way better than the movie. But, I don't know. But uh, it's kind of like a cult classic now, too. And this thing is limited to 3,000 copies. So, you know, there's, and there's the other cut that I didn't watch. So maybe I would like the other one better. I didn't watch it, I'm sorry, but the video, the uh, the image looked good, you know, the movie looked good, and it sounded good, and the captions were fine. And I say that in every video, because I feel like that's very important, you know, I, everything sounded good. But, with all that being said, let me show you what's inside this. And here you have this artwork here, and I believe this one and the other artwork is from Justin Osborne, I believe he did both, but there's that one, which... I don't know, it really, it, it's good, but it really, it's not even really in the movie. But then you get this artwork here, and I'll take it out and show you a little little better. And then you have this artwork here, which is awesome. I love that artwork, it's so cool. That would make me want to rent it, definitely. Uh, really, really cool. But the cool thing with this is, too, there's another artwork here that you can reverse. So you have... You have the slip cover, and then you have the sleeve with two different artworks on it. So it's whatever one you want. You got you got two choices here, and and this, of course the slip you can't change. But that's very cool. The winner for me is definitely this one. I love it. I love how the killer looks menacing. Uh, you know, at, after the girl, very very cool. Um, way better than than this. You know, but that's just my opinion. Going back to the slip cover, I didn't say this is actually embossed. It's very, very cool. Very, very cool embossed. Nothing else is on, on here is embossed. Just that. And then, of course, it's just the word the prey. The words the prey. And then on the back, this is a little bit embossed. It's not really, it's more glossy. It's a little bit raised, but not much. And none of the other green. It's just, just the words the prey. That's it. So that's cool. And here are all the uh, special contents and special features in that. If you want to pause it now and check them out, you can. On the inside here, you have the first Blu-ray here with the new artwork on here, which is really cool. And then you flip it over, and there's the other, oh, over here, you have the other Blu-ray, and they are region A, B, and C. One cool little thing that they put in here that I've never really seen them do before is this permit to go up into the woods and camp for the day and it's welcome to North Point Keen Wild this is a self-issue permit good for one day one day use only in the Keen wilderness and it you know it's a permit to fill out you know number of pack and saddle stock like horses and mules and how many vehicles emergency phone number and then you know up to a group of 15 people and on the inside it's uh, these regulations what you will do and won't do and then down here it shows you like the fire that happened like we'll never forget kind of thing very cool that they put this in here uh and you, then you're supposed to slip this in the box for them and then that you know this is what they go by and it's kind of like okay now you're good you can go camping but that's really cool that they put this in here i never actually seen them do anything like that so i really like that i'd like to see more of these kind of things you know in this in the uh, editions that arrow puts out you also get this little booklet and like all booklets you know you got the contents you know pictures and stuff like that about the transfer special thanks production credits and there's the back one really really weird thing with this movie is that they show animals in it constantly like if i guess it's supposed to be what animals are going doing out in the woods while these while these uh this 
couples are out there doing stuff like if the couples are eating it's showing animals like ants or like you know owls and stuff like that it shows them eating like attacking prey or whatever and they're eating and it just happened so much that it kind of threw me off like I was like why does it keep doing this at first I thought this is doing it a lot and then it just like it kept doing it it was like throughout almost the whole movie and it just kind of was like all right that's a little unnecessary I don't need to see animals every like five seconds but that was really strange but you know what talking about this and thinking about it and all and all the th everything that went into this makes me want to give this another shot um maybe I, I i it's not like i didn't pay attention to it i watched it in one sitting um and i and at the end of it i'm like eh, i don't know it's kind of dull but maybe i'll give the international cut a try and see if my opinion changes and uh you know i'll go from there but other than that though this is a very very beautiful edition again i wish arrow would put more editions out with the slip covers i feel like when they do they put more love into it that's just me i just feel like all the ones that have these are are have so much more love put into them um you know i'm looking up at my my ones now and it just seems like they're better editions not always you know but it's just so much it's so much cooler and then you, you know you got the embossed i'm a sucker for embossed and glow in the dark you know stuff like that so that would be cool if this glowed in the dark too that would be neat but it doesn't but yeah so with all that being said i guess give it a shot you know it's worth watching i mean it's 40 years old you might as well watch it why not so that's the prey